Hey guys, welcome back to our channel and today we are going to continue with the last part of the retail billing software. So far, what we have done is we have created the main screen with all the needed widgets and also worked on the add to cart, generate and save bill buttons. Let's dive into our code and move forward. To make a bill print, we will create a function named iPrint and pass self into it. Then, create a variable Q to store all the data that we get from the text area. Now, create a variable file name to store the name of the temporary file we make using tempfile.maketemp in bracket dot text. Next, use the open function pass the file name in writing mode and write all the data stored in the queue. Print use os dot start file and pass two arguments. One is the file name and the print command. To add a feature for finding a bill. Let's create a function called findBill and pass self into it. Then create a found variable for controlling the flow of the function and to show the error message. Run a for loop until all the directories in the folder are fetched. That is all the bill names. Split each name from the dot and then match it with the bill number the user has entered. Make an F1 variable that opens that bill in read mode. Delete all the current text present in the text area to enter the data from the open file into the text area. Run a for loop until all the lines are read and insert the data from D into the text area. Finally, close the F1 file. Then set found to yes. Create an if condition stating that if found is equal to no, then print the error message. Now for clearing the bill. We need to add the clear function. In this function, let's uh, clear all the widgets used in the project. To do that, set the widgets to empty, yield the text in the text area, and create a variable z to store a random four digit number for making a unique bill number. Set the bill number variable to z. That's it. Now, add all the functions to the button widgets in the command section. Finally, we will add a but command to the exit button using the destroy function. 